So what do I have for you today? Today what I want to talk about is the how you can actually make a stable signal using a PLL for an FM transmitter. Um, I chose in particular to use an obsolete circuit. Um, I don't know why, I think I found somewhere on the internet, uh, about, found out about this circuit and then I tried to search for it and I found that it's an obsolete circuit and it's the SAA1057 from Philips. This actually is no longer in the market and as you can see the data sheet has a year November 1983. That's quite old. <laughs> mm. But I found it on eBay so I bought it. I think it was for five bucks. And so what I want to explain here is how you can actually achieve a stable signal that you can output um, that you can output here. And so first is the the oscillator stage which is right here. This is the oscillator stage it has this transistor for amplification and then we have the inductor right here and it plays with the, this capacitor and this capacitor for basically bypassing the transistor and then these two uh, variable uh, tuner diodes they are the same diodes, I, I forgot which diode but basically they are actually a surface component so I had to really solder them into these uh, larger pins so I can use them on breadboard I don't know if you can see them on the camera. They're quite small. That's one of the... Uh, it's also known as varicap or varicapacitor, uh, varicaptor or something like that. And so with these guys, because uh, if you apply a reverse voltage into these capacitors, you will change their capaci internal capacitance and their internal capacitance with the inductor will change the LC circuit uh, resonance frequency therefore resulting in basically a different oscillation and you, that's how you can actually tune your FM so that you can lower or, um, or increase the uh, frequency of oscillation or the uh, transmission or the signal, the carrier signal that carrier signal uh, basically gets mixed up or modulated with the audio signal coming from the jack here. So the signal gets inside the uh, gets applied on the uh, uh, on the uh, tuner diode, which uh, which will vary its capacitance with very small, tiny uh, changes, resulting in modulation or uh, frequency modulation that gets transmitted into the air and then and then a demodulation circuit for actually listening at it in the radio so let's just focus actually on how we uh, achieve the uh, stabilization with the PLL so the PLL what it does it basically compares the um, oscillator frequency it samples it uh, and it goes into this pin pin 8 then it goes inside the, this circuit and it compares it to a reference si signal coming from the crystal. The crystal is a 4 MHz crystal which uh, produces a very stable and accurate signal of 4 MHz. Internally the circuit actually divides the FM signal as well as the uh, um, uh, the reference uh, 4 megahertz into a smaller and you have the the choice to select it program it program this chip to use a particular uh, lower frequency for comparison and that's how you synthesize your signal so then it outputs a voltage based on the comparison it compares so it's actually a um, it's a closed loop uh, control of frequency 
So it compares it to the reference. If it sees that it's larger or smaller, if it sees the oscillator frequency is larger, then it applies uh, less voltage to the uh, tuner diodes, causing the frequency to lower. And it, then it goes up, then it goes down, up, down until it uh, until it reaches the uh, desired uh, frequency that we programmed it to, and that's where it actually locks locks the voltage of the tuner diodes and that has two um, internal it has the digital and um, and then the digital is actually very fast so I can show probably later if I can demonstrate that um, so what that does well, the digital will very quickly uh, close uh, narrow at the frequency, the desired frequency. Then um, it automatically turns the digital off, and then the uh, an analog sampling circuit takes o uh, takes over so that it uh, it keeps um, the the phase locked, and it basically works. It's much slower, but it uh, corrects for drift. If, for example, the battery lowers or anything like that. What's going to happen? The internal capacitance of transistors in the entire circuit will change, and so this one, will, because the crystal is less prone to changes and it's very accurate, it will compare to that to the reference frequency and make sure that always it will lock at that particular desired frequency that we program it. How did I program it? I basically the, I looked up all the internet. I couldn't find any program that's written or a library in the Arduino. I used the Nano, the Arduino Nano here. It's a Chinese version that I use for pro, for programming this, and I used this data sheet. I read through it and basically figured out how you can time out the three uh, um, to write a library for uh, basically communicating. In serial with this circuit uh, with respect so there is a detail actually in the data sheet that explains how you can program it and how you have to actually have each of the different uh, uh, data uh, signals have how they have to be written in order to achieve that and I can show very quickly uh, where is that discussed Here is actually a block diagram of the internal working of this uh, chip, and it's very simple. So it goes, it has a, it tunes for FM and also AM, and these are actually the the bus for how you can load the the data. It has uh, la latches or more like uh, registers, 15 bit registers, and it actually takes 16 bits. Then it chooses where the first. The, l the highest bit is actually used for AM or FM. After that, it, uh, you can program either the uh, register A or register B. Register A actually is just the one 15-bit um, word that you have to submit to the divider so that you can program what frequency you want your FM to be at or AM. And then the latch B is for controlling other stuff. Uh, there is obviously controlling the um, current um, for the uh, sample and hold uh, phase detector, uh, which is, uh, sorry, the programmable current amplifier here. My hand is shaking. <laughs> um, so that programmable... Um, current basically amplifier has uh, different gains and you have you have to program that you also have to program the uh, what frequency you want to use uh, it offers two uh, low frequencies for comparing both the uh, reference and the uh, input uh, signal fm signal and 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 then and then you have the uh, pin 17x tall that's where you actually connect the crystal pin 18 is a test for actually uh, uh, checking if everything is working you can output signal uh, there and you can send it or read it into the Arduino and figure out what um, 
you can program that through the uh, register B program what data gets out on the pin 18 uh, what else um, then there is um, you have to actually um, do the wiring electric wiring in different uh, they show also an example of circuit how, how you can do the wiring okay so let's go further and very quickly show what I was trying to explain to you so here is this is a schematic explaining how the data will be exchanged so you have to make sure to respect uh, the these different uh, timing so I that's how I wrote my program I have DLN uh, CLB and data uh, these are different three pins I mean these are three uh, it's a three pin uh, data um, uh, serial data communication that you have to um, basically write a library for because I couldn't find any library that's written in Arduino the only thing I found for this old circuit was a PIC program it's written in assembly and I don't have a PIC and I don't want to go into the the headache of actually doing that where while I do have an Arduino sitting I, I actually do have a lot of Arduinos they're quite cheap that I bought before and this one is soldered this a nano so I decided to do take that path and here it just explains the different timing and how you actually send the signal you can see that uh, you have to basically follow with the specific pattern of sending signal you have to send a clock signal with where with those uh, delta T's uh, the middle signal is for the clock CLB and then the uh, data enable is uh, also have to be in sync with the rest and they show you the different uh, timings and then they have in the table actually when you if we scroll down to the data sheet you'll see each of these are defined so I went through that and basically wrote the code library here in Arduino whoops whoops and I wrote the um, Arduino code which takes care of that but let's first actually play around and stop talking about the details because it's gonna bore <laughs> bore you to death <laughs> and I think you would gag from this stuff <laughs> all right so let's take a look first I'm gonna show that the oscillator signal is showing the output of the um, FM transmitter here on the breadboard implemented in with only two uh, transistors so we're outputting this signal the same signal that's been entered into the um, uh, digital sorry the PLL uh, tuner radio tuner circuit from Philips right here that goes right into the oscill oscilloscope and we see right now it is programmed at 98.9 megahertz so let's go ahead and reprogram um, on the Arduino let's program 107.9 and check what's gonna happen so I'm gonna write 107 megahertz point nine I don't want to go into the detail of the program but basically this means I'm programming the chip to uh, to put the frequency at 107.9 megahertz and if I um, upload this program into the Arduino it should program it to that so, le so let's take a look here um, put the camera at the oscilloscope and show very quickly as I press on the uh, Ubuntu the ID of the Arduino the frequency will change and it went at 107.9 megahertz
and if I show very quickly here I'm actually playing music and and it's going through the jack into the FM transmitter right here and uh, I have my phone which happens to have an, F an FM chip radio chip in it and here we we can see it's uh, it's listening on 98.9 but because we're not submitting the signal right now it's 107.9 megahertz so you can hear there's nothing watch when I program it here 98 98.9 megahertz we're gonna listen to this music from YouTube And that's it. I, I mean, what else can I talk about? So that's basically just um, the uh, basically a weak, uh, weak FM transmitter. Obviously, here if I if I add say this transistor um, to the output, it's going to increase the power of the emission or radiation of the FM through this wire antenna. If I also that would play as a driver for a much more powerful transistor, which is this one. Uh, this one can output up to one watt. Uh, it's the 2N3866. But if I also use this one, the circuit is designed for amplifying separately, which uses uh, two, uh, 2 SC. Which one? the um, Michibichi 2SC1971 this transistor um, is a quite powerful transistor but this one I think it's a Chinese fake but bunch from eBay none of them actually produce it um, the claimed gain so <laughs> I still couldn't really uh, get an output that's, uh, that's supposed to output 6 watts but I tested it and couldn't get any power beyond it just outputs almost the exact power that I input through it so it's pointless so it's useless <laughs> and that's it